you just just don't want to do the screen recording but also yourself all right it's going to be the screen there the board and me okay. if i sit over there <laughs> okay <laughs> something positive I like I remember uh, it's a funny story I, I, I never really learned programming but when I was like nine ten years old I started reading some books about it you know and, yeah. and also for all, like oh no this is no and then I'm into this <laughs> just like you know different colors on a website is nice you know that's, that's yeah. where I am but the back end stuff no because huh? but this back end stuff without colors it's not your stuff no no that no I don't think so I don't know. But, but so, so besides that, yeah. the environment is really nice. Yeah, yeah. There's no really a sense of hierarchy, yeah. so you can go and talk to anyone, no one's yeah. really busy. They, they will dedicate time, worst case they will say, okay, I'm busy now, so we can talk tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to talk to you. Where about Ushuaia, uh, Patagonia. The very south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning. 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 Good What's uh, right, right, right. Yeah. 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 So Chris, it's also him. Maybe it's nice when you guys start to just do a, you know, round of music. Uh, <laughs> just uh, <laughs> no, just cool. Just general. Because I don't think all the songs are usually the same. It's very briefly. Like, uh, for them, it's going to be to know when you work. Sure. It's like motivational. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Like for you, it's coming for the new for you. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I saw this message. Okay. All right. Shall we get started? Yeah. And we want to wait for like a couple more minutes. No, we can start. Yeah. Yes. We need to leave the early today. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a lot yeah, of right. yeah. 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 time. Yeah. 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 Right. Uh, first, I'm gonna introduce myself. My name is Igor. By the by the accent, you might tell I'm Russian, and I am. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I work for around 10 years already in this area and uh, I do mostly backend development which means like uh, scripting languages, uh, databases, scalability, cloud platforms, all this kind of stuff. Uh, nowadays I work for Moli. Recently I got my permanent contract and I really like this com company because we have quite nice culture there. Uh, I work with credit cards, with payment processors, all this kind of stuff. It's quite complicated. And I also work a lot with databases. My business why I know them. <laughs> uh, you guys might want to introduce yourselves. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Roxana. And I'm a backend developer at Booking.com. I've been working there for two years, uh, a bit more. Uh, but I'm from Argentina originally. So Hi. nice to meet you all. Uh, I'm Chris, um, um, originally from Sri Lanka, so I've been a developer for about 15 years. Um, done everything from, yeah, so uh, full stack, uh, maybe less databases nowadays, I think, uh, but more like uh, I do everything from uh, React, Angular, TypeScript, uh, Node.js. Um, so yeah, I work for ING right now. And also we have Kulmash here, my own friend. You know me, I didn't know me, I didn't know me, I didn't know me. Ooh, glory. <laughs> right, uh, so today we'll start uh, with data a series lessons of about databases. And uh, first thing, uh, why do we need databases? What's wrong with uh, storing information in files? or just in memory, or just remembering things. Why do, why databases exist? Because we need to get data to get it when we need it. Uh -huh. But files do the same, right? But you can just uh, store something in files and just get it back yeah. whenever you want. It can be lost a lot, the data can be a lot of space, or just to save a lot of Uh, the bases are yeah, sure. some sort of structured storage. Mm -hmm. Databases, uh, we have databases because databases uh, work with the us. Come here, come here. Okay. Okay. Sorry. 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 Uh, Probably on one of your previous homeworks, you worked with uh, JSON files where you store the data, right? Yeah. And when you tried to retrieve this data, what kind of problems did you have? Like you had you have you had different objects that are right in in this file, and when you wanted the uh, what kind of data was it? It's to do. To do right. Yeah, yes, right. Yes. So you have multiple to dos. Yeah. And when you want to retrieve something, how do you specify what exactly you want to retrieve? By ID. Uh, each uh, to-do has its unique uh, ID. Mm -hmm. So we use the, the key. All right. So we'll start probably, I'll give a quick overview of uh, what we have in the world of databases. Um, we have three main, three main types of storages. First type of storages, it's called uh, NoSQL. 
NoSQL means uh, basically you are storing their JSON objects. They have no structure. They, they do have structure, but um, <coughs> they don't have a schema. Um, it means that if you want to store in the database objects related to to-dos, to then infor some information about students, then some information about cars, it will be there. It will not look alike, but it will be stored and it will be there. And uh, this is no SQL storages. They provide you ability to make queries. If you have uh, your JSON object stored in the file, you don't have structured language to get the data. You have to parse whole file and retrieve all the objects, and you have to uh, filter whatever we want to whatever we want to have, right? Yeah. That's how it was for you during the during the homework. But oh, it's disappearing. <laughs> Uh, but for NoSQL storages, you have this possibility of retrieval information plus nicely structured uh, language uh, to retrieve this information. And uh, you don't have to retrieve all the information, only whatever needs, needs to be retrieved will be retrieved. All right? Uh, second uh, type of storages, to don't make it complicated, is uh, just key value storages. Uh, this kind of storages, they mainly work in the memory, uh, but uh, some storages allow you to persist information. Uh, key value storage, how does it work? For example, we can store there um, Amsterdam is going to be the key and uh, the country will be the Netherlands. For example, uh, Delhi will be the key and the capital will be uh, India. That's how we, uh, we can retrieve value by the key. If we know the key, we just can retrieve the key. It's very simple, nothing complicated about that. What's good about this kind of storages? It's fast, it's simple it, and people use it mostly for mm, cash, for aggregation of some statistic. So they just storing some keys and some values, all right? Yeah. And uh, then we have uh, relational databases, or it's called um, R. How is it? R D M. R D D M S. RDMS, right? RDDMS, yeah. RD DMS. MS. Uh, anything the B in between RDDMS? DBMS. Yeah, it's like this kind of um, relational database management system. This is the most complicated thing so far, and today we're gonna be looking at this. We're gonna spend three lessons uh, learning this because in, in comparison it's slightly more complicated. Why I'm talking about this? Because on every interview you will be asked on with which kind of databases you worked. And uh, they will ask you questions like, is it, my, uh, is it uh, no SQL database? Is it relational? Is it key value storage? You might want to know all the three types. You don't have to work with them, but it's a plus, but you have to remember it will be asked on every interview. Uh, let's have a look what uh, we have in our class. Um, relational database management systems, uh, they are designed uh, more or less like this. I'm going to take another marker away. Right? The one which doesn't disappear. So we have database. And the uh, database itself, it's just some data on the server. You just cannot see it without, uh, without any client. 
what kind of clients uh, allow us to see the data? We can have JS. This is what you're gonna work with. You're gonna write a uh, JS client for MySQL and you're gonna retrieve and insert and do some queries uh, to database using JavaScript. Today we're gonna have a look at it and if we have enough time and we'll see how it goes. Uh, then we have command line interface. Do you know something about command line interfaces? Yes. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. You can connect to uh, through command line interface to MySQL and do some queries there, right? Um, also, we have some sort of tools like um, PHP my admin. PHP my admin. Um, what else? Um, a MySQL workbench. These kind of tools, those are visual tools. You can connect to the MySQL server, and this is only one thing you need to do. Then you're gonna see all the tables inside the database, all the rows, all the data you have in like visual format. You're gonna see some tables, like, you know, similar to Excel probably. What other kind of clients we have? Um, JDBC? Java database connectors. Yeah, JDBC and a bunch of other connectors for other different other uh, programming languages. So uh, the main point here is it's a server client architecture. MySQL runs on the server and you can use all the bunch of different clients for different purposes to operate your data inside of MySQL or Postgre or any kind of other of its databases. This sort of data, uh, all these kinds of databases, they also work like that. They run on the server, but for key value storage and for NoSQL, you have different sort of clients. That's how we operate them. So far it's clear. Yeah. Questions? If you don't understand something, you just tell me and we'll, we'll stop by there and like we investigate it further, right? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, we discussed a uh, connection to my, uh, MySQL. We're gonna look at MySQL because uh, it's free relational database. There are many other kinds of uh, relational databases like Postgre, um, SQLite, many, many of them. MariaDB, I can even remember, I don't even know all of them, but you don't have to know them. You, they work with, by the same principles. Um, Let's have a look at the structure. What do we have exactly in the database? What is what is it made of, right? Because it's definitely not made of JSON objects because of, of uh, storing JSON objects, we have other kind of databases, right? What kind of databases? MySQL. Right. Uh, SQL stands for Structured <coughs> Query Language. Basically, it's human readable, but with this kind of language, you can retrieve data and manipulate data. Um, inside the database, you can have uh, tables. Uh, tables consist of rows and uh, field and uh, columns. Columns are called fields and uh, rows called records, mostly. I'm not mistaken What's much. Hmm? What's it called? The rows. The rows. Records. records. Like record, one more record, one more record. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's have a look at this. Uh, we're gonna have a look. Um, in the class, we're gonna uh, have a 
look at examples about all right about teachers so this table uh, will store information about teachers um, every table always will have ID or primary key. By primary key you can retrieve uh, this ev every row you want. So I'm gonna put ID here. ID you uh, sometimes ID is uh, integer, sometimes uh, ID can be UUID. It's called uh, uniquely um, identified. It's basically a 36 uh, symbols string. It's it's used uh, mainly in. Uh, we have used this. Hmm? <coughs> we have used it in. Uh, yeah. Oh yes. Why did you use UUID? What's the difference well, with ID? Unique ID uh, mm -hmm. for uh, for example in uh, to do. Uh, That's right. Uh, this UUID it mainly comes from uh, NoSQL world, world because of uh, NoSQL databases they uh, scale much better and uh, you can have the same database placed on different servers. servers. Uh, so ID cannot be number for them. It can be only like um, only this string which is more unique than a number because of if you have a number ID on, on multiple servers it's gonna be like um, teacher with ID one on the first <coughs> server teacher with ID one on the second server and it's not gonna work UUID doesn't have such a problem I'm gonna put here oh Universal unique ID. Oh yeah, universal unique ID. Good one. And uh, here we have just ID. So, so far we are talking about relational databases, and uh, for relational databases, most probably in ninety percent, ID gonna be a number. Uh, what kind of information we gonna have here? Uh, we might have here a uh, name of the teacher, right? Um, Age. Date of birth. In the database you want to store only uh, date of birth. Because of age it changes every year, right? Yeah. And if you have in the database date of birth, you can easily can cal calculate it. And if you put their age, you always have to update for all the users. And imagine you have like 5 million users, mm -hmm. you have to recalculate it every year and every day, because every day people have birthdays. So we uh, say here date of birth. You might want to Pay attention how I name the counts. Uh, usually counts are named uh, in lower case and uh, sometimes it's underscore, sometimes it's um, camel case. Uh, when you develop in real life application, you're gonna get employed somewhere, you're gonna work on with some legacy code uh, and one day probably you'll need to add one more field. So you want to have a look around how fields are named. It's important because if everywhere it's named, look at this, it disappears again, huh? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take the red one. Let's see how it goes. Uh, just have a look around. You want to keep it consistent. Yeah. So my name is Igor. I, um, for storing 
dates, MySQLs uh, and other SQL databases have special type. Uh, it can be date time or just date if you don't care about time. Here, do we care about date or about about time? time? Just date. Talk just date. date. It doesn't matter much what when time what, what exact time, time of my birth, know. right? And I don't even know this. Zero four zero one nineteen eighty seven. This is when I was born. Uh, what else we might say here? Um, yeah, we're gonna put some sort of. Uh, it's not enough space here anymore. What I do at my work, right? And uh, uh, sex. We are still not gender neutral, but I think it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna put here. Um, let's have a look at different types of data here, right? Because it, it will be important for you when you're gonna be designing your uh, your tables, your data structures. ID. Uh, uh, integer. integer. Yeah, because yeah, look, one it looks like integer, right? It doesn't look like string. So we just want to have it string because of, of the strings we can do nice oh with integer we can do nice things like uh, select uh, all the 